Hi, my name is Denise Defara, and I'd like to talk a little bit about this painting. It's going to head off to the gallery soon, and sometimes um, what I've noticed is once the painting is gone, I don't get that chance to sit with it again in this way. And so it's something that with this particular series of these trees, I feel very drawn to um, sit down and have a conversation with you, the viewer, and for myself to be able to look back on. And so what's coming up with this painting is there's a, one main big uh, single tree. And the inspiration for that came from a walk in Mary Creek Trail with my daughter in Melbourne. Uh, we've done the walk twice, or actually walked once and cycled another time. And when you find this place um, off the side of the trail with a big labyrinth, um, which is beautiful and peaceful to walk around, uh, right next to it is a very big tree, and it's known as the wishing tree. And many people go there and they leave their wishes and prayers uh, attached to the tree in all different ways, maybe tucked in behind the bark when there's a gap or tied with a little piece of string. Um, and it's just really lovely. It's sort of, the, the tree is just gently holding all of these wishes and dreams and hopes for people. And it's something that as a community, people can go there individually or as groups and do. So it's quite beautiful. So that is the inspiration of the tree. And I'll, I'll show some close-ups. Maybe at the end, there's quite a few collage pieces in this painting. Uh, which giving it more texture and, and depth and things and so that's reminding me of those notes and little messages that I saw attached to the tree um, and the other thing is the the bird life so in this particular painting I've got rainbow lorikeets and a big cassowary so I'll start with the lorikeets and I'm just noticing it's starting to rain so I might have to move shortly um, I'll start with the lorikeets. So the lorikeets. Um, we have quite a few of them in our neighborhood, but there are some places on the coastal regions where you can go and at dusk and it is such a raucous. They're so loud. Um, so yeah, they're kind of interesting. They can sometimes be annoying if you feel like they're too much. Um, but they're very beautiful. And so what I'd like to do as part of this is um, share with you um, a spiritual meaning or a symbolistic meaning that I often do when I come across animals in my path that make a significant um, impression on me. I'll often look up the meaning of them. You know, you can just Google that these days. There's lots of places. So what I'd love to share is some um, character traits and things written about the lorikeet. And you can find uh, more at auntieflo.com. So A-U-N-T-Y-F-L-O.com. And she does a whole lot of readings of other different animals. So that's one site that I visit and use. So I'll read this to you. It's some, sort of almost going to be a bit of a reading um, if you've happened upon this video. Okay, some of these symbolic character traits of lorikeet include the following. Communication skills, recognition of your soulmate, the love of language, ability to see every viewpoint, respect of others' opinions, and connect to the rainbow. We, we should acquire good communication skills to be able to relate well with others in the community, just as lorikeet. They are hyperactive in nature, both in captivity and in the wild. We should be very active to achieve what we want in life. We will be able to associate with many. We will be able to recognize easily our soulmates. When we are active, we tend to socialize a lot. We also communicate well, and this will enable us to identify those we can be able to relate to and stay with well without problem. Stay with well without problem. This really applies to those who have lorikeet as their power animal. And I think, you know, as far as having something as a power animal, for me, I really feel it 
the my totem animal or power animal and one of them is the heron and why I've chosen that or it's chosen me is that it turns up so regularly in my life and often at profound moments when I'm thinking about something I'll see a heron so I've adopted that and that resonates for me so I think it can be as simple as that as to how you choose your totem animal or spirit animal it's like they choose you and your awareness of them and resonance with them kind of seals the deal they have the love of language which is very important in their communication when you love the language you will tend to be very interact interactive to learn so much and to communicate effectively they are able to see the viewpoint of everyone they may not look at things from one point of view but from both the positive and the negative side of the story. They respect people's opinions by resorting to know every point of view in a given issue. They believe that everyone has the right to communication and expression of their ideas and views. They connect to the rainbow, just as the rainbow lorikeet. Oh, that's interesting. So this reading is more referring to lorikeets in general. So now she's mentioning the rainbow lorikeet. These kinds usually appear in different colours that are associated to that of the rainbow. Being that the rainbow has all the colours in it, this kind of species are also of different and several colours. This also portrays that we need to have several qualities that are different and unique in life. You need to understand what you want in your life and lorikeet will help you make the right decision. Communicate well and let you know the person you can love. So lorikeet shows up as a spirit guide when you need good communication skills, you need the power of right decision making, you need to respect other people's opinion, you're undecided, you require some knowledge on a given language. And call on lorikeet as a spirit guide when you need to recognize your soulmate you need to communicate well. You need to know the language used well. You need to make the right choice and you need to realize good opinions. Um, that seems to be all I've got here about that one. So isn't that interesting, all about communication and understanding various points of view. And it makes me, reminds me of the LGBTQI communities uh, and how they use the rainbow as an emblem of all different ways of knowing and being so that's quite beautiful as well so that's a little snapshot for you about the rainbow lorikeet and also lorikeets in general and so now I'll move over to the cassowary so the cassowary is not in my neighborhood at all I don't believe I've ever seen one in real life, but curiously, it came into my awareness a few um, few weeks ago, maybe a couple months, at, when I was making this painting. Um, so I'm making a series of these paintings and just noticing around me the bird life and which ones sort of speak to me and they often inform the color palette. So this one came to mind and I was unable to sleep um, a lot during making this painting and so I would be up in the middle of the night doing pieces of it and so I um, I added the cassowary to the um, to the painting in the middle of the night one time <laughs> I thought that was quite interesting and so it really made its presence felt and quite strong and because they're so huge in real life it presented um, me with a little bit of a uh, issue of having to have a little bit of perspective in mind. In some ways I ignore the rules of perspective and you'll see the flowers at the front may not relate properly to the size that they maybe should be um, and so I'm purposely breaking some of those rules just for myself because um, that can set aside the perfectionist and with the cassowary uh, so he or she is in here and um, and that's why I decided to call the painting Cassowary Curiosity. So I'll read to you about the cassowary meaning. And this, um, these, this 
reading I have found in spirit-animals.com. So that's another website that I use, spiritanimals.com. Okay, so the cassowary meaning. Cassowary symbolism is asking you to be more open-minded and tolerant of those around you. Not everyone will always have the same viewpoint as you do. Listen carefully because you may not like what they say. However, with cassowary meaning, there is most likely a gem or two that you can integrate into your philosophy. Symbolism, cassowary symbolism teaches us that we are all individuals and as individuals, we must all find our truth. To do this, we go from lesson to lesson and peer to peer. Moreover, from each of these, we integrate tidbits of knowledge into our being. Even though others may reach for the same morsels, they will all process and integrate them differently. Therefore, we must allow for our differences. Alternatively, cassowary symbolism may be reminding you that flight is not necessary to get where you want to go. There is plenty of relevance in taking the long and winding road. In other words, cassowary meaning is reminding you that there is no need to rush down any spiritual path. Take your time so that you can fully integrate the wisdom you have gained. These birds are related to the ostrich, emu, rhea and kiwi. So that's fascinating. I was born in New Zealand and the kiwi is the national emblem of, of New Zealand. So about the cassowary as, as a spirit animal, totem and spirit animal. People with the cassowary totem can be very territorial and stubborn. However, they do recognize this part of themselves and manage it with diplomacy and aplomb. They also have a powerful connection with the rainforest. Therefore, they usually take a keen interest in the stewardship of these shrinking tracts of land. Folks with this spirit animal essence are always conscious of their environment, including the physical, emotional and spiritual. Thus, they make sure that they keep them in balance. Generally, these folks tend to gravitate toward people who respect boundaries and are at peace with themselves. People with the cassowary totem are also great teachers. However, they teach by allowing their pupil to discover the knowledge they seek by themselves. As a teacher, they merely hint at the wisdom and enable the rest to come to the others in self-discovery. Cassowary dream interpretation. A cassowary dream in which the bird is attacking signifies that you are aware that there is a confrontation coming. Also, you have been avoiding this confrontation. In other words, you know that you have to deal with this problem and have been putting it off. Thus, you have been giving your opponent or obstacle power over yourself. Alternatively, to dream, to dream of this flightless bird in the rainforest signifies that something in your environment is out of balance. You need to look carefully at what is setting things off kilter and rectify the situation. If the bird in your cassowary dream is sleeping, then it signifies that you are at an impasse. You have to choose between two directions and are undecided as to which way to turn. This bird is indicating that you can step back from this choice so that the correct one will reveal itself to you. If the bird is white in your vision, it means that you will soon undergo a new spiritual awakening. And lastly, additional associations for cassowary, cassowary, balance, connection, obstacles, paternal energy, pride, protection, reputation, respect, self-defense, shyness, strength, stubbornness, territorial, vulnerability, wisdom, yin and yang. Isn't that interesting? Oh wow, so on a personal note, what came up for me was the, um, not as, as much of dreaming in my sleep, but just having this bird enter into my awareness is that looking carefully at what's setting things off kilter um, and rectify the situation. What happens to me sometimes is I get really big headaches and they can last for days and go 
day and night, day and night, two or three days. And they always um, can knock me off kilter. Or I've been knocked off kilter and next thing they arrive. Um, and so it's a constant um, thing to not feel as though I've got to fight those, but they sometimes present as an opportunity to look at what am I, where am I putting my energy? So that was one part of it. And the other piece was the, um, it's not necessarily to fly. It's not necessarily to, necessary to fly to reach, um, where is it? Sorry, not supposed to pause on videos. Um, anyway, there was a piece about it's not necess perhaps necessary to fly to find your message or truth. And um, my husband and I have recently had to cancel a big holiday we had planned to go to Italy in a couple of months. And, um, you know, it's cancelling flights at the moment was about um, the virus, the, the virus that had taken into, come into the world. and. It's causing havoc in the transport and um, all different areas of the world. And so I thought, oh, how interesting that uh, maybe the gifts that I was seeking in that trip may come to me another way. I might not have to fly there right now to receive what it was that maybe wanted to come into my life. And I think it's true that what we're meant to receive and come across, it will find its way to us. So that's my little thoughts on this painting and I'll, I'll do some close-up um, pieces so you might get to see the collage and things more closely. But thanks so much for stopping by and I look forward to uh, making some more of these videos to be able to have something to keep along with my paintings. Have a beautiful day. Bye.